Good Friday morning, lads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. November college visits are over for the week, but they will continue when we return from Thanksgiving break. Mark a calendar for November 27th, when the reps from Otero Junior College will be here. And then, on the 29th of November, you can visit with the people from Adams State. Seniors, remember, the deadline to sign up for the PPCC application day on December 4th is Friday, November 30th. December college visits kick off with the reps from the University Technical Institute on December 6th. This is the visit to attend if you are interested in learning about becoming a technician in automotive, including NASCAR, diesel, marine, or motorcycle industries. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, if you're interested in learning more about the mill program, you can sign up for and get a tour of the mill on Tuesday, December 11th from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. This tour will introduce students to the mill program such as woods manufacturing, cabinet finishing, and construction. There are a limited number of seats and you you must sign up and turn it up permission slip in the counseling center before December 4th. Ladies, if you are wondering if the mill program is for you, you should sign up for a tour and come check it out. The mill strongly encourages ladies to join the program and start honing your skills. Explore great career possibilities at the mill. Remember, college visits happen during advisory and at lunch, so be sure to pick up your pass from the counseling center. And if you missed any of these dates, you can always check out the counseling center calendar or go to their website. Seniors, Herf Jones will be here again today so you can place your order for your cap and gown, announcements, and class rings. Remember, all orders must be in by Thanksgiving. If you are not ready to place your order today, you can also order your items online, but be sure to do it by the deadline. One more note for seniors, the deadline for the Daniel Scholarship is Thursday, November 29th at 4 p.m. Spend some of your Thanksgiving break polishing those application materials and submit them before the deadline. If you need information, please visit the Counseling Center website or see Mr. Walker. Don't miss out on the scholarship opportunity. And now, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Kieran Doolittle. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Ladies, if you're interested in joining the girls-only wrestling team, please make your way to Coach Walker's office in the Counseling Center to let him know that you want to be a wrestling pioneer. Practices are already underway, but they will welcome you. And GLADS, just a reminder that at this time, WHS has no plans to bring boys volleyball or unified bowling to our school. If this changes, we will be sure to keep you posted on any new information. In forensics news, our team is headed up to Lewis Palmer High School for a varsity tournament this Saturday. We will have those results when we return from Thanksgiving break. Glads, if you are in the market for some Gladiator gear for Christmas, check out the huge sale at the school store. Most of the items are 20 to 80% off, but be warned, these prices are only good while supplies last. Check out the pink flyers on campus for store hours. Glads, with winter season sports practices in full swing, some of you are starting to feel the burn. In this week's Damon's Dose of Health, Mr. Damon will give us some pointers on exercise and workout routines to help ease back into winter sports. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health and today is all about exercising tips. First tip for you guys is to create goals and determine the why behind what you're doing. Second tip is consistency over intensity and what that means is picking a regimen that allows you to work out day in and day out rather than working out incredibly hard one day and then having to take three days off to recover. You're going to see more gains through consistency than you will through one single exercise of intensity. Find a workout regimen that meets your goals, whether that's weight loss, whether that's putting on muscle, um, whatever it is, find a specific workout routine that will help you meet those goals. It's very beneficial if you can find a workout partner. This not only helps with accountability, but also with consistency as well. Research the benefits of nutrition, as well as applying your nutrition and the things that you've learned to your workout regimen. I'd like to just close with a quote. Do something today that your future self will thank you for tomorrow. That's Damon's Dose of Health, tip for the day, exercise. Thanks for that great information, Mr. Damon. Catch Damon's Dose of Health after the break when his topic will be about our sleep habits. 
GLADS, we're excited to bring you game dates, scores, and action for basketball, wrestling, and swimming later this month. Be sure to check in with your coaches for practice times and locations. That's it for your Friday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Happy Thanksgiving. Now back to Moose and Daniel for more news. Thanks for keeping us posted, Kieran. Today is the Senior Council Hat Day. If you didn't get your wristband and are wearing a hat, ask your teacher to let you go to the main office and get your wristband. We know it's a little early, but let's face it, we're teenagers. And, well, we're always hungry. If you are craving Chinese food, the NJROTC cadets are having a fundraiser today at Panda Express on Highway 8587. Get yourself a flyer from an NJROTC cadet or in the main office. Then bring it with you when you purchase your meal today. A portion of your cost will support our NJROTC program. And speaking of food, here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu. Thanks, Ms. Betsy. Students, if you have outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria, please pay these in person with Ms. Betsy or go online to add money to your account. Glad, as the semester starts winding down, your grades might also be taking a downward turn. Remember, NHS students are here to help you finish strong. Tutoring sessions happen every Thursday in the library. All you need to do is stop by the library to sign up for an appointment and pick up your pass. NHS students can help you with writing papers, studying for tests, or just beefing up your grades before the semester ends. Uber prices are going up in December, but don't worry, you still have time to take advantage of the $50 $5 price by going to the business office or online at yearbookforever.com to order your book before the end of November. Save yourself some money papers and order your book this week. The Harvest of Giving Food Drive continues today. Remember, your donations will be used by the 180 Club for their annual holiday food drive, so please be generous. Some items you may consider donating include soups, ramen, peanut butter and jelly, crackers, tuna, mac and cheese, and of course, typical holiday food like boxed potatoes, veggies, gravy, or desserts. Just so you know, all these donations will go to the families of students right here in our school. Bring your donations to Miss Melton in room 103 and put them in your class box so you can earn Charlie Cup points. If you haven't had a chance to bring your food donations, you can still do it after the break. Bring any donations you have to Mr. Sickmiller after the break for the 180 Club to start putting those baskets together. Thanks for your help on this very important event. And finally, if you have lost any of your items on campus, please check in with Mrs. McAdoo or Ms. Grandizio in the principal's office this week. All items in the lost and found area will be donated during Thanksgiving break, so come check it out. Chances are, if you lost it, somebody found it. That's it for our Friday edition, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. We'll be back on Wednesday after the break. I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is KWHS News. Have a great Thanksgiving break. Be safe and yeehaw.